get ready for some exciting news, because SpaceX is back with some headlines. After the initial launch that left us on the edge of our seats, the second Starship launch is around the corner and promises to be a spectacular comeback. The world has been eagerly awaiting this moment, and it's here. But will it be better this time? Let's find out. Back in April, SpaceX embarked on a mission that was meant to be a remarkable milestone, launching the Starship into the sky. Unfortunately, this journey took an unexpected turn. The mission had to be terminated due to a malfunction that resulted in a crash. Starship, the rocket of dreams, reached an altitude of 24 miles, only to lose control over the Gulf of Mexico. The aftermath of this event left quite a mess, and the Fish and Wildlife Service in the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department had to step in. They've been diligently working to clean up the debris scattered across state-owned lands, all in an effort to minimize the impact on the local habitat. This cleanup effort is still ongoing, highlighting the significant consequences of the launch. But what exactly went wrong during Starship's first launch? Well, Elon Musk revealed that an internal fire occurred during the Starship's ascent, causing damage to its engines and computers. This unexpected event led to a deviation from the planned trajectory, and the command to destroy the rocket was triggered about 40 seconds later than intended initiating the rocket's destruction. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, has been closely monitoring the situation, especially the Automated Destruction Command, which was a critical safety system. They've pointed out the need for improvements before SpaceX can proceed with another launch. As of September, Elon Musk confirmed on social media that SpaceX has completed and documented 57 out of the 63 required actions. It's worth noting that six of these items pertain to later flights. While at first glance, the initial mission may have seemed like a colossal failure, Musk's response remained positive, and the space community began speculating about Starship's second launch attempt. For those familiar with the launch industry and the iterative design process, getting the Super Heavy rocket and Starship upper stage off the launch pad was a significant achievement. SpaceX itself recognized the mission as a success, highlighting the valuable insights gained about Starship's flight capabilities. Surpassing an altitude of 24 miles was a notable milestone, especially considering initial doubts, even from individuals, about the rocket's ability to leave the launch pad. And now, there's exciting news that Starship, the world's largest rocket, may take flight again from South Texas as early as November 6th, as indicated by a Coast Guard notice. The Coast Guard District 8 notice to Mariners has scheduled rocket launching operations from 5.25 to 11 a.m near Boca Chica Beach, issuing a warning to boaters to steer clear of a hazard area along the flight path, extending from the Texas coast to a point near the Bahamas. Also, one of NASA's WB-57 high-altitude research aircraft is set for a stateside deployment to provide imagery support during this period. Such notices, along with information from the Cameron County's Highway 4 and Boca Chica Beach closure website, are often early indicators of SpaceX's testing timelines. However, it's important for Starship enthusiasts to temper their expectations for an early November launch. Testing in the aerospace industry can be unpredictable and subject to change. Moreover, SpaceX still needs to secure a Federal Aviation Administration license to launch the craft. Speaking of the Federal Aviation Administration license, what's the latest news on the FAA dispute? And is SpaceX getting closer to obtaining an FAA approval? As of now, the Federal Aviation Administration dispute regarding SpaceX's Starship is still ongoing, and it remains uncertain when the approval for the second Starship launch will be granted. Despite Elon Musk's recent statement that SpaceX has implemented the required corrective actions for the upcoming flight, the licensing process continues to experience delays. Bill Gerstenmaier, the vice president of Build and Flight Reliability at SpaceX, expressed his frustration during a recent hearing of the U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Space and Science, titled Promoting Safety, Innovation, and Competitiveness in U.S. Commercial Human Space Activities. It's a shame when our hardware is ready to fly and we're not able to go fly because of regulations or re-review. We need to be safe. We need to protect the environment. We don't dismiss those, but we need to fly at the fastest pace that we can do hardware development to do this active development process and this test flight experience that we've described," he added. The Starship program is facing an additional challenge with the environmental review process, 
which has brought the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service into consultations with the FAA regarding a draft update on the biological assessment under the Endangered Species Act. This process, initiated on October 19th, allows up to 135 days for the issuance of an amended biological opinion. However, the Fish and Wildlife Service anticipates not needing the full time. SpaceX has been navigating the backlog of FAA work, which has made it necessary to make tough decisions regarding what the agency should prioritize for their launch vehicles. The licensing process for Starship has become a critical path item, especially considering its role in the Artemis program and overall execution. SpaceX aims to increase the cadence of Starship flights in the coming year, but the current pace of regulatory approval suggests that turnaround times could extend to a year or even more. It's important to note that, according to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, SpaceX currently holds only a stormwater permit for its launch site, indicating that additional regulatory requirements need to be addressed. Despite these regulatory challenges, SpaceX remains committed to its mission and continues to test its 400-foot-tall Starship prototype and launch pad. The recent wet dress rehearsal at the Starbase site in South Texas involved filling the Starship with cryogenic fuel to check for leaks and potential issues. SpaceX is eagerly awaiting regulatory approval and is poised for the second test flight of a fully integrated Starship once the green light is received. As everyone eagerly anticipates the upcoming Starship launch, the question on many minds is whether it will be any better than the first attempt. SpaceX has made some significant changes to the Starship design, one of which involves separating the booster from the upper stage. This separation event occurs about three minutes after liftoff, and it wasn't achieved in the April test flight. Another key alteration SpaceX is implementing is known as hot staging, a process where the engines of the upper stage or ship are ignited while the engines of the first stage or booster stage are still active. This is a departure from the traditional approach used in modern U.S. launch vehicles, where the booster engines are shut off for a brief moment before the first stage is jettisoned and the upper stage engine is ignited. The concept of hot staging isn't entirely new. Russian rockets like the Soyuz have been using this technique for decades. However, it represents a noteworthy departure from the standard practice in the United States. This change underscores SpaceX's innovative approach to space travel, setting the stage for what could be a transformative chapter in the history of rocket launches. Musk revealed that SpaceX is implementing a change in the Super Heavy Booster's operation. They plan to shut down most of the booster's engines and simultaneously fire up the engines on the Starship upper stage. This adjustment is expected to increase the payload lift capacity for the Starship, which was already substantial, capable of carrying over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. However, it also means that engineers need to add protective shielding to the top of the stainless steel booster. This booster is designed for recovery and reuse, which adds an extra layer of complexity. According to Musk, this design change should result in a roughly 10% improvement in the Starship rocket's payload capacity. The alteration addresses the challenge of thrust loss when separating rocket stages with the booster engine shut down, as the rocket temporarily continues its ascent while gravity tries to pull it down. In preparation for the upcoming launch, SpaceX also tested a deluge system designed to spray hundreds of thousands of gallons of water across the launch pad's bottom. This system helps dampen the noise, heat, and force generated by the Super Heavy Booster's 33 Raptor engines. The second launch of Starship is a highly anticipated event for space enthusiasts worldwide, and it holds immense significance for SpaceX and its founder Elon Musk. This mission aims to rigorously test the performance and safety of the Starship rocket, designed for full reusability and the potential to carry humans to destinations like Mars and beyond. The upcoming launch will attempt to send the Starship upper stage partway around Earth, with a splashdown target near Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean. It's a formidable challenge and a potential milestone for the future of space exploration. So, the big question is, will SpaceX exceed this ambitious endeavor? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section.